All glories to Lakshmi and Kubera. Welcome by popular request after a long time. I'm doing a trading video again by the inspiration of the double MACD uh, strategy as in the video of Sohail. And uh, so I've coded the stuff. We are on BTC USDT perpetual, Bybit exchange, so the amended chart. This is the beginning of the testing period. We always have about three weeks on a three minute chart of candles in one testing period. So um, let's first of all go through the settings and how I've set it up according to what Mr. Sohail gave in this video. So we have um, the histogram with 100, 200 and a signal smoothing of 50. And then we have the signal line, which I plotted in yellow here, based on a fast length 34, long 144 and smooth 9. Um, I added a little filter, which says that for um, a crossing to be valid, um, not only has the histogram to be dark in color, but also it has to be bigger than 1.62, which is not much. And then for the take profit and um, stop loss, we're using this type of a super trend, which is um, a, I call it JLA. I quoted this a long time ago. Um, it is based on ATR values and um, so it has also certain settings, which I can quickly show you. Because there is many ways to determine what is a recent swing high and low. So for simplicity, I use this and I will explain later how. So the ATR is a long ATR of 432. Mm, so it doesn't fluctuate too much. Then we have a multiplier of the ATR of 7 and uh, also an end loss multiplier of 2.1 which dictates how much the lines will switch and when it will switch and it has also a smoothing length of 55. So now let's go into the signals and we will look at some examples. First of all we're having here you see I filtered this trade uh, which would have been a loss by um, making sure that when the signal comes, we are actually closed above this line. Okay, let's look at this. So we have this small, this small triangles down here, which are the filtered signals, which would have been uh, in Sohail's strategy, but not in mine. So, okay, this would have been valid. We had up cross here but we are below the super trend line, so we don't take this one. And this one was actually, let me see, where exactly did it happen? It happened on this candle, you see, uh, this one was below, and therefore we didn't take it and we were saved from a loss. I mean, you know, depends where you define the recent swing low. How many bars do you look back? You take this as a recent swing low or this or this, right? So if you were to take this one, maybe you could have could have made a win out of it. Would be a matter of question, but that's the, the difficulty, you know, to, to code a logic which determines exactly how many bars you look back and so forth. Um, what is determined as swing low and not. And so therefore I use this super trend here. So we didn't take this one. Next one, we had another one here, which was far below the super trend. We didn't take this one, which would probably been a win in this case, but you cannot have it all. Now we had a cross here. We didn't take this, but we took this one. And this is because, um, in this case, what was the case here? Why didn't we take this one? Probably because the previous histogram bar was 
light in color. Otherwise, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't take this one. But we got another one here, which was unfortunately a loss, but this one would have been a loss too. Same thing. So no, no loss in a, no loss for the strategy. Then we go further, further, further. Nothing happening, flat market, all filtered nicely by the settings. Then we have a win trade, you who. So, um, it was, unfortunately, I would have to see that, that this line is already down here. Um, I'll have to see how we can improve this. Um, there are some settings in this super trend, which I can still adjust. But anyway, it was a small win, very, very small one, but at least it was a win. And we had another one here, which was nice. And then we had yet another one here. So three wins in a row, so not so bad. Then we had a failed loss here, a failed short, I mean, and a winning short directly after that. You know, but this is like, this is the type of trade that can happen, you know, um, because recent swing high, where would you say was recent swing high? Probably here. Um, I could, for example, implement another logic where we choose the higher one of uh, the super trend and let's see how many bars back that would have been and the highest high of the last 63 bars for example and we would take the higher one of that if we're below the super trend yeah so then that would have been still in the trade and it will all be f would all have been one win trade so that's some tweaks i'm looking at and then this one, unfortunately, a loss, which can happen. Then, unfortunately, we didn't catch this trend. Then we had a cross down here, which was reasonably filtered because of the super trend. Yeah, makes sense. This one also reasonably filtered by the super trend another one reasonably filtered so there would have been three lost trades and um, we filtered all of them because of the super trend another short that was filtered luckily because of the super trend yeah you see so on the three minute BTC chart, it's not performing too great. Uh, then we have um, another long that was filtered by my strategy, which could have been a win in this case. Probably would have been a win here, but we cannot dismiss all the other ones that we were safe from. This was just a quick trend, which you have to know that this strategy, as it is set up, is basically a pullback strategy or a trend continuation strategy. And so if there is a rapid trend change like here, you will not catch it with this strategy. So then we had one, two, three longs, which didn't go anywhere. Therefore, we, we didn't take them according to the strategy. Then we had a short one here, which was unfortunately not filtered according to our settings. Um, I would, for example, add another rule here that the candle has, a certain, has to have a certain size. I will add that by ATR measure. Let me see how big this candle is or how small. <laughs> see, such small candles, they shouldn't, they shouldn't trigger a trade. Look at this, this is nothing. So, but even if we take the wick, it's 0.03%. So I would say a candle has to be at least 0. Point. Let me see, reasonable candle size for a trigger candle. Let me see, is 
uh, at least 0 0.05 okay I will do that and then we will filter this one also next time so the short was a loss then we had a, a few long signals here this one of course we couldn't take because of the short trade here we had two long signals which were filtered according to our logic another two which might have or might have probably not have been a winner if you take this as a recent swing loss certainly uh, that wouldn't have been winners um, then what we have luckily filtered shorts then we have some missed longs here which is a bit unfortunate let's see why we missed those there is any reasonable logic to this while well, the body was very small it was kind of a tweezer candle here doesn't make too much sense this one would have been a reasonable candle for a long all because this one okay I have one setting that I can quickly change which yeah I mean because the line is orange here therefore um, I took this as a filter and it actually gives slightly better better results but I will think about it for the future um, anyway that would have been a pretty small trade and we would have lost it because the line was just here so yeah I mean if you took the recent swing low I will have to add this logic then this candle would have been a winner for sure I will work on that okay let's go let's go let's go nice short trade nice winner but that was also a very small candle which would have been filtered with the new idea that certainly wasn't 0.5 percent of a candle 0.05 I think was the and we could define it as a ATR oh yeah it would have been valid okay we can take this no problem good what was that another short trade which was a win and the long trade which looks to be was a winner oh the problem was I have to also make a filter for that if the candle is too big then it shouldn't shouldn't take the trade there oh okay well in that case it was the previous candle so we were lucky it it hit the target in in, in one candle okay that's good no problem and the short that hit the target and the long that hit the target and the short that hit the target and the short that got stopped out and a long that got stopped out what is this this is nonsense you see there are some little things that I have to tweak here with this um, because we were above this one but um, the line wasn't switched yet so I have to look at the logic of this indicator too for some tweaks and along that was oh it was tight yeah it was a winner at least and then directly after that why well, we had two tps for that that's weird somehow it seems it didn't oh there was directly a buy on the it closed the long and it had a buy exactly after that that's weird not sure what happened here something wrong with this strategy
a loss from the cell. And I think that's it. We're towards the end. This one I filled up luckily. This one was also there before and I filtered it. Here we have a cell and that's still open. No, that got triggered as a loss. Yeah, that's the end. So yeah, you see there's still some tweaks to be made. Um, it's kind of promising. Let me see what are the results. 52% is not too great. The profit factor is pretty good with 1.692. Um, I think we had an investment of uh, $10,000 as a base. Yeah, 100% of equity of $10,000. So in three weeks we made, what's that? 1,000 would be 10%. Yeah, it's, it's not, um, it's like 5%, 4.5% 4. 4. in three weeks is not too great. Yeah, so it's not too many trades and the win rate isn't too high yet. I saw that maybe on some other um, asset um, pairs it has better um, performance, but still it is a nice idea that can be improved. See you in the next one. All glories to Lakshmi and Kuvair.